It is mailbag time here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report. So much to discuss about your undefeated Kansas City Chiefs as we're talking potential trade rumors. We are also looking ahead to this weekend's game against the Raiders. All sorts of stuff that you guys have questions on. We're going to answer them. This comes from our Tuesday live show where you guys submit questions to us in real time. We react to them. And you may be saying to yourself, man, I would love to be a part of your next mailbag show. How can I do so? Well, guess what? If you subscribe and turn on notifications, you can be a part of what we call the Noti Gang. Those are the folks that have their notifications turned on. That way they're the first to know when we have new content on the channel, whether it's a live show, breaking news, a mailbag. Make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications turned on. If you're part of the Nota Gang, spam Nota Gang in the comments section. Would love to hear from you, and we'll get going here on today's show. Let's start with a $20 Super Chat from Gabe. Gabe wants to know, he says, feeling generous since I was there in San Fran. We appreciate the generosity, Gabe. So to you. We left a powerful tomahawk chop ringing through Levi's Chiefs Kingdom, baby. Love to see it, Gabe. Great to see you representing out in Cali. Hope you had a great time there in uh, Northern California. Hopefully you got some good wine and uh, cheering on the Chiefs of victory. Good to see. Thanks for uh, checking in and sending that super chat. Casey Kingdom writes in, could the Chiefs trade for Robert Woods? So Robert Woods has been uh, a bit of a journeyman uh, playing for teams like the Rams, most recently the Houston Texans, uh, was with the Titans for a little bit as well. And he's been a decent receiver over the years. But he has not done much this season with the Houston Texans as uh, the Texans' offense has kind of phased him out as he's only had three catches for 28 yards, just over nine yards of reception in those three catches. But you better believe if he came to Kansas City, he would not be getting phased out. He would serve a very critical, very important role for this Chiefs team that at this rate, with no Juju, no Hollywood Brown, no Rasheed Rice, they'd take anybody right now. I don't think you'd have to give up a ton for Robert Woods. I think the Texans are uh, very, very likely to move on from Robert Woods. I don't know if they want to trade with the Chiefs. I think that's your big obstacle, or obstacle, however you want to say it, uh, in trading for Robert Woods is do the Texans actually want to help you? Because I do think he'd actually help out this Chiefs team even though he's not helping out the Texans much. But, yeah, give up a sixth or seventh round pick. I don't see why not you want to bring in Robert Woods. Let us know on our pinned comment today. Should the Chiefs trade for Robert Woods? Type T for trade, P for pass. Chime in and let us know if you think they should. Tony writes in. Tony was really wanting on the mailbag today. I'm glad that Tony got in. Tony from El Paso. Hopefully uh, you're staying away from the cartels, Tony. Uh, Well, Chiefs bench Sky Moore. Look like Sky Moore, but he hasn't done much. Chiefs, any favors. I wish he can do better, Tyler, but it's the same result every time Moore out there. Oh, man. Um, Tony, you're not wrong. Sky Moore, it's painful. And here's the, here's the saddest part about the Sky Moore experience, the Sky Moore experiment, is that... There have been plenty, plenty of opportunities for Sky Moore to prove himself and to be a big factor in this Chiefs offense. When you look at the Chiefs receiver room, the cupboards are bare, right? We mentioned the injuries, how things have piled up. And for those guys that are under the radar like Sky Moore, this should be the golden opportunity for you to step up. If you can't play well. If you can't thrive in this Chiefs offense as is right now, it ain't happening anywhere else. Sky Moore has proven to be a bad football player. That's the reality of it. And I wish that wasn't the case. The Chiefs have given him plenty of opportunities to succeed, and he keeps falling right on his ass. So I hate it, but that's just where the Chiefs are at right now. Nathan writes in, Who are your logical wide receivers the Chiefs will target before or during the trade deadline? We mentioned Robert Woods earlier. I think DeAndre Hopkins is another possibility. Deontay Johnson, I think, is another idea as well. Um, 
you know, I, I could see Demarcus Robinson potentially coming back. Those are the the names that come to mind. You already missed out on Amari Cooper. Uh, you weren't going to bring in Devontae Adams. But the good news is for Kansas City that if they do want to make a trade for a wide receiver, there are plenty of guys available still with weeks till the deadline at this point in time. Thanks, Nathan. Chiefs rule, all right, Sin. Would it make sense for a trade for Jadavian Clowney? So I look at Clowney, and this is somebody that's got a lot of talent, right? Former number one overall pick out of South Carolina. I still remember the great play that he had in South Carolina when he blew up Michigan, and that led to him being number one overall. One of the greatest college football plays I've ever seen. And his NFL career has been pretty solid. Maybe not number one pick worthy, but he's been a pro bowler. He's played at a high level. And the thing with Clowney at this point in his career is that what any team I think would be asking for realistically out of Clowney at this point is just to be a pass rusher. Uh, Clowney at this point in his career, you don't need him to drop back in coverage. You don't need him out there to stop the run. You just need him to get after the quarterback. And he did a good job of that in Baltimore in Mike McDonald's defense. McDonald now is uh, out in Seattle as their head coach. But last year, he had kind of a career resurgence. With nine and a half sacks, two forced fumbles. This year, not doing so hot in Carolina. Only one sack this season. But I don't think it would cost you a ton. His salary isn't a lot. It's very doable. I like the idea of Clowney. You can't have too many pass rushers, but I do think the Chiefs have bigger needs. What the Chiefs really need is they need Karloftis and King Felix to step up and do more of their part. That would be the better solution. But if you can't get more out of those guys, then maybe you make a move for Clowney potentially. Should the Chiefs trade for Jadavian Clowney? Your chance to be Brett Veach type Y for yes, N for no. Weigh in, let us know if you would trade for Jadavian Clowney. One player that will not be traded is Xavier Worthy. Xavier Worthy, his jerseys are on sale now, chatsports.com slash worthy. Got the home jersey, got the road jersey, got men's and women's options, and free shipping also available as well. Go see for yourself, chatsports.com slash worthy. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. Go get yours today, chatsports.com slash worthy. All right, got time for a couple more questions. Let's start with Gabe. Gabe writes in, what will happen if and when Pacheco returns with all the running backs? What do you think of Andy's trick plays like the double QB and double running back at San Fran? I love the creativity. Andy is the best at getting the most out of the playbook. I don't know how many people know this, but in that playbook that Andy has, it's so thick. They have plays that were run by Vince Lombardi in the 1960s in that playbook. I mean, you talk about creativity. Nobody does it like Andy Reid, and you better believe he's got more tricks up his sleeve that we'll see later in the season. Now, as far as the running back situation goes, Kareem Hunt is not taking Isaiah Pacheco's job away from him. Pacheco's a top ten back, maybe a top five back in the NFL, and he was looking pretty dang good before he got hurt. When he fully recovers – The offense is going to run through Isaiah Pacheco. He is going to get the majority of the carries. Kareem Hunt will go to be your number two back. They'll use him in short yardage. And you'll have a good thing going. You'll have depth at the running back position you didn't have previously. So when Pacheco gets back, it's it's going to be looking pretty good for this Chiefs offense there. Nathan writes in, send a third to Cleveland for Greg Newsom or a third to Carolina for Horn. For the love of God, restructure Jawan Taylor or trade him. Let's start with the Jawan Taylor end of things. Jawan Taylor's been terrible this year. His PFF grades are atrocious. Um, on top of that, he gets called for more penalties than anyone in football. I am so sick and tired of Jawan Taylor. Believe me, I hear you on that. Um, but with his contract, it's a bad contract. I don't know how much he's going to want to work with you on that. As far as the two corner options, uh, I think I'd prefer Newsom over Horn, but they're both good football players. And you look at the corner situation for Kansas City without Jalen Watson there, I think either one of these guys you'd feel a lot more comfortable with with this Chiefs corner room. And you go back to that first Super Bowl, the Chiefs, did not have a very good corner room. And they prioritized their pass rush to open up things 
for the corner room and made life a lot easier. I think that's going to be kind of a renewed focus again. Like, hey, we got McDuffie in that corner room, and McDuffie's great, but we need the pass rush to do more of its part to make life easier on the corners. Last question, uh, Paul says Hunter Renfro. No. Hunter Renfro's cooked. He's washed. He can't stay healthy. Um, I understand looking for receiver help, but that ain't it. It's an interesting idea, Paul. Thanks for joining us here on the Chiefs Report. For continuing Chiefs coverage, subscribe now for free. I'm Tyler Jones. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.